guys, it's Trina and today I want to tell you what my 2016 reading goals for myself are. Personally, I really love setting goals for myself. I find that they keep me motivated and accountable, but I firmly believe in not being too hard on yourself, especially when it comes to a hobby. I did come up with another 10 goals for myself for this year. so. Let's talk about these. Number one, I want to read all of the books on my physical TBR. All of the books that I own that I have not read yet, I want to have those read by the end of the year. This is kind of like the 0 by 16, 0 by 17 challenge, but I'm a library reader. I don't own a lot of books. I only have seven books that I own and haven't read yet. I have The Darkest Minds Trilogy by Alexandra Bracken. The next book in the Outlander series, Dragonfly and Amber by Diana Gabaldon. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. And finally, Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. So because it's only seven books, I feel pretty confident that I can get all those read by the end of the year. And the reason that I did want to make that a goal, even though it's only a few books, is because some of those books have been on my shelf for a year now, or just over a year, and I want to make sure that they don't sit there for yet another year. My second goal is that I want to read at least half of the 2015 releases that I did not get to in 2015. I went through my Goodreads list and sorted it by publication date, and all the books that released in 2015 that I didn't read last year, I asked myself, did I still want to read this? And if I didn't, I removed it from my list. But the ones that I did still have an interest in, I wrote them down and put them in this jar. And in total, there were either 24 or 25 and my plans on using this TBR jar, I guess I'm going to do it every month and I'm going to plan to draw two books at a time and then choose from those two which one I prefer to read so that it can still be kind of mood driven. My third reading goal is I want to make sure that I am reading the books that my friends are talking about and recommending. So this is kind of like a spinoff of the booktube recommends challenge although I didn't realize that was a thing. I just kind of made mine and some of these are real life friends but I did get 10 recommendations from people. When I asked for these recommendations, I told them that it doesn't matter if it's one of their personal favorites, it doesn't matter when they read it, it doesn't matter if it fits my reading taste, just any kind of book that they would want to recommend. And I did ask for at least two different recommendations so that I have choices and don't feel forced and feel burned out on reading a bunch of stuff that I may not have picked up at that time based on my reading mood. So anyway, I've got some choices here. Kayla Rain recommended the Gemma Doyle trilogy or the Hex Hall series. Marinez from the channel My Name is Marinez recommended Ender's Game or If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. My friend Holly gave me one recommendation. She wants me to read Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Caitlin from the channel Book Chats recommended The Piper's Son by Melina Marchetta or To Win Her Heart by Karen Wittemeyer. My friend Becca gave me quite a few. She wants me to finish The Perfectionist series by Sarah Shepard or Read Station Eleven or Hyperbole and a Half or The Time Traveler's Wife. Rebecca from the channel Why Mermaids recommended Red Rising, The Circle, or Station Eleven. Kristen from the channel What's Happening gave me one recommendation for the Dark Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning. Jordan from the channel The Jordan Journals recommended Poison Princess by Cressley Cole or Between a Rock and a Hard Place by Erin Ralston, which is that true survival story of the guy that got stuck in the rocks and cut his arm off. She recommended that one because I like survival stories so much. Sarah Ella recommended The Goose Girl, which I own, or Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill. And Morgan from the channel Little Word Weaver recommended that I read The Darkest Minds. I also own that one or The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. And what I'll be doing with these is folding them up and putting them in the same TBR jar and then just kind of going for the blue ones. I'll probably end up doing about one a month of those two so that's kind of what my TBRs for each month are going to look like. Going to be friend recommendations and then 2015 books I didn't get to. My next goal is that I want to make a point to read one new release per month in the month that it is released. So in January I want to read a January release. In February a February release and so on because I got so behind on the 2015 releases last year. Like there were some that made it on my TBRs that I was really really anticipating and then I just got busy and didn't read them. So this year I want to make a point of making sure every month reading a new release from that month. Number five is this year I want to reread at least two books that are not being adapted into a movie or a TV show in this year. I know it's only two books and that sounds very small, but for me, I read half of a reread last year, so two is 
just making sure that I am rereading some and I have a couple in mind that are favorites that I want to make sure that the story stays fresh in my mind so that I am able to discuss these books that I am recommending to people. Number six, I want to read at least four older books on my TBR that I have not heard any hype on booktube for. Basically older books that I've heard like nothing or little about because I feel like there are so many older books I need to get to also and sometimes the ones that people don't talk about can kind of be hidden gems. Number seven is I want to read at least three challenging books this year and what I mean by challenging books are books that deal with topics I know I don't like or books by an author that I previously have not liked. Number eight is that I want to start at least three series where the first book was released prior to 2014 so a little bit older series that I just haven't gotten to yet. There are so many. Again, the numbers for these goals are low because I do want some kind of number there just to make sure that I am reading in these different kind of categories, make sure that I am kind of getting a variety in what I'm reading without overloading myself for it. And the last two goals on my list are specific books that I want to make sure and get to this year. So number nine is I want to finish the Jessica Darling series by Megan McCafferty this year. And goal number 10 is to finally read Eldest by Christopher Paolini this year. This is book number two in the Inheritance Cycle. This is my husband's favorite book series and I did read Aragon a few years ago and I never continued on and I think I've kind of disappointed him by that. So this year I at least want to read the second book. So that is it for my 2016 reading goals. If you guys are doing any reading goals or challenges this year, let me know what they are down below and good luck on everything that you're hoping to accomplish this year. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the comments. Bye!